Hey everybody, Chris here from O'Reilly Auto Parts to show you how to change the brake calipers on a 1999 to 2007 GMC or Chevy pickup. Before I get into that, take a second to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Today I'll be installing new calipers on this 2004 GMC Sierra, and the procedures will be similar on many early 2000s GMC and Chevy trucks, but be sure to know the specifics for your truck before getting started. And if you're not completely comfortable doing this yourself, we'd be happy to recommend a professional technician in your area. Once you've got your supplies together, here's what you'll do. Park on a level surface. Carefully remove the plastic caps on your lug nuts with a 21 millimeter socket if your truck has them. Loosen the lug nuts on the front wheels with your 22 millimeter socket. If you're only changing one caliper, you'll only need to remove the wheels where you'll be working. Jack up the front end and put it on stands. Remove the lug nuts and wheel. It's not a bad idea to spray the bolts that you'll be removing with penetrating oil. Remove the two caliper bolts with a T55 and breaker bar. Slide out the two caliper slide bolts. Detach the caliper and move it to the side. Remove your brake pads from the caliper. Use an 18 millimeter socket to remove the two caliper mounting bracket bolts. And remove the bracket. If you're replacing both the bracket and caliper, they may come as a unit. If so, install the whole unit with the bracket mounting bolts. And use a 21 millimeter socket to torque the bolts to 120 foot pounds. To make installing the brake pads easier, we'll be detaching the caliper from the bracket. Attaching the whole unit should make it stable enough to use an 18 millimeter socket to remove the caliper slide bolts. Apply 100% silicone grease to all contact points and install the brake pads and hardware in the caliper. Also apply grease to the two caliper slide bolts and install them with your 18 millimeter socket. Torque these bolts to 90 foot pounds. Have a brake fluid safe container ready to catch brake fluid when you remove the old caliper and detach the brake hose. Reattach the brake hose to the new caliper. Repeat these steps on the other side if you're changing both calipers. Since you've opened your brake lines, you'll need to bleed your brake system. Here's a link that you can follow that shows the full brake bleeding procedure. Once your brakes are bled and your fluid level is where it needs to be, put your wheels back in place and finger tighten the lug nuts. Lower the truck and use your 22 millimeter socket to torque the lug nuts in a star pattern to 120 foot pounds. If your truck has plastic lug caps, use a 21 millimeter socket to tighten them. 
Before driving anywhere, pump your brake pedal several times to make sure the pressure has returned to normal. And that's it. You'll find everything that you need for this and other jobs at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or O'ReillyAuto.com. Our DIY videos are designed to help answer questions we get in our stores every day. If you found this one helpful, subscribe to our channel to get all the latest. We'll see you again soon.